Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film, Dead Birds. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a group of Confederate soldiers riding horses into town. Few people are on the street as church bells are heard tolling in the distance. The soldiers go inside Commerce Bank. One soldier asks an old teller to call the manager. When the manager arrives, one of the soldiers says they will deposit a catch of Confederate gold while handing a sheet of paper to the manager. Meanwhile, a group of people is coming towards the bank with a suspicious man in tow. They are instructed to wait for a few minutes by the guards stationed in front of the bank. The men do not want to wait and attempt to go to the bank. A guard points a gun at one of the men, but suddenly, one of his companions slits the throat of one guard and kills the other guard. They go inside the bank and kill everybody, except for a woman named Vanabelle, an accomplice in the robbery. They hurriedly take off with the gold just as soldiers arrive at the scene. Shooting ensues, and the group leader named William accidentally shoots a child, killing him instantly. The soldiers try to run after them, but the six robbers are able to escape and traverse through a forest and into a field. William's brother, Sam, is bleeding on his shoulder because he got shot during the shootout, but he shrugs it off as a minor thing. They come across an overturned Ferrari wagon, next to which are dead men on the ground. Two old derelict men are going through the pockets of the dead people, searching for any valuables. William asks them about the Hollister Mansion, where they are planning to go. The men deny knowing such a place. They move at a slow pace, because William seems unsure of their destination. The two accomplices, Joseph and Clyde, think they are lost and are pondering double-crossing the others. The group comes across a creek, so they cross over with their dog at their heels. It is already dark when they see the mansion overlooking an abandoned plantation. They forge their path through the fields, because there is none. They pass between tall grains, and they soon come upon a strange scarecrow on a cross with a cloth over its face. They believe it is a dead man and not a scarecrow at all. They are nearing the mansion when a strange, deformed creature crosses their path, scaring the smelly shit out of them. They shoot at it, and it dies on the spot. They take a look at it. The creature is naked and hairless, and one of them says that it resembles a mountain cat, while another thinks it is like a wild boar. Upon taking a closer look, it seems to resemble a man without clothes. They leave the strange creature and proceed to the mansion. It is about to rain when they reach the mansion. Thunder starts to rumble, indicating that a storm is coming their way. They talk about heading to Mexico the next day. They light their lanterns inside the house and see strange footsteps on the floor. They start to get nervous, so they check the house, going in pairs. The suspicious man shown earlier is named Todd. He tries to open the door to the basement because he hears some noise from downstairs. He cannot open the door, despite William helping him do so. Upstairs, Joseph enters a room. He hears a strange noise from under the bed. He is about to look under it when Clyde enters the room, scaring him. In another room, Annabelle gets the bullet off Sam's semi-bulletproof chest, with Sam almost crying in pain. The deep wound is now infected, so Annabelle disinfects it by pouring wine over the wound. William and Todd go to the slave quarters, where they find a Ferrari horse carcass among other things. They also find the book, with strange symbols written on its pages. William recognizes the strange markings as spells for raising the dead. Meanwhile, Clyde and Joseph are again thinking of dividing the loot among themselves. William and Todd come back from outside. Clyde says that he is thankful that the rain will cover their tracks. Todd says otherwise and tells them that the coming storm will only create muddy paths, making their tracks visible for days. Clyde gets pissed at his opinion and starts to engage Todd in a word fight instead of muscle wrestling. The two argue until William tells them to cut it off. That night, the men play cards while William and his wife, Annabelle, go upstairs. Sam looks at the couple, and there is sadness in his eyes, because he has fallen in love with Annabelle. Upstairs, the couple tongue massages passionately before heading to a smelly but fast workout session. Two minutes later, William and Annabelle talk about the first time they met, including their accomplice, Jeffy Hollister, who inherited the Hollister mansion from his family, but died in the hospital. Jeffy told them about the plantation, and when they planned the heist, William thought the house was the best place to hide. Outside, Joseph leads the horses to the stable and then goes to the well to get water for them. He hears a strange noise. A boy calls him from inside the well, asking for help. The boy says that his father threw him into the well, possibly for a sauna shower. Joseph throws a bucket into the well, hoping to pull up the poor boy through this way. Instead, he gets pulled down the deep, dark well. Meanwhile, William starts to dream about the hospital where he stayed before. In his dream, Annabelle was tending to him and Jeffy, but Jeffy started to strangle him, making him wake up from his nightmare. 
It's implied that William and Jeff might have fallen into conflict over how to distribute their robbed treasures before Jeffy died from an injury in the hospital. Right then, Clyde knocks on his door and informs William that Joseph is missing. They begin a search party for him, but they cannot find Joseph anywhere. They call off the search because the storm is becoming intense. Clyde goes inside a barn to ponder about the things happening to them when he hears something scuffling on the door. Someone is violently shaking the door, but when Clyde opens the door to investigate, he finds no one outside. Annabelle is changing her hormone outfits in one of the bedrooms when she hears a soft voice of a boy calling from underneath the bed. She goes down to look under it and sees a figure in white, possibly a creepy peeping Tom. The others hear her scream, so they run up the stairs to investigate the matter. She tells William that she saw a boy underneath the bed, but he ran away. Sam looks everywhere, but cannot find him. William thinks the boy is only a figment of his wife's imagination, which makes Annabelle angry. She feels that something is wrong with the place and that they should leave immediately. With the storm brewing and Joseph nowhere to be found, William says they could not go that night. Clyde arrives, getting wet from the rain, but not from a man. She asks them if they have seen Joseph. He thinks he saw Joseph moving around the barn, but he is uncertain if it was him. Clyde looks worried and disturbed at the same time. Upstairs, the boy shows himself to Sam and tells him that the boy's mother died on the bed on which Sam is lying. Sam fervently prays, but then the ghost of the boy disappears. Mr. Hollister's ghost, the owner of the plantation, shows himself to Sam. The evil spirit tells Sam that he hid his children where no one could find them and demands to know where his wife was. Sam shakes his shit in fear, then the darkness descends over him. Downstairs, Clyde proposes that they divide the gold that night, but William does not like his suggestion. They debate on the topic, but Clyde finally gives in. Still angry, Clyde goes upstairs to rest, but sits on a rag doll with its eyes and mouth stitched close. Meanwhile, Todd starts to investigate because he hears some strange noises. He goes near a window where he sees a human reflection outside. Todd then goes out but sees no one. When he goes inside the house, he sees that the basement door is open. At that moment, Clyde sees a young girl crying inside the room. He tries to talk to the girl, but she screams at him and suddenly disappears. At the same time, Todd reaches the basement and sees instruments of torture. He cannot believe his eyes, especially when he sees a black woman tied to the ground, who's obviously a torture victim. He tries to untie her, but the woman keeps saying someone is coming. Todd looks around, but does not see anyone. The woman suddenly screams as her stomach is ripped open by an invisible force. Concurrently, Clyde sees a figure of a man moving outside, and he presumes that it is Joseph. He gets scared now because of all the things that are happening around them. William wakes up only to find the gold missing. He searches for Clyde, thinking that he got the gold. Annabelle wakes up and sees her brother-in-law in front of her. Sam looks very pale and his eyes look blank. Unknown to her, the ghost already possesses Sam's body and soul. Sam is carrying a crumpled page torn from the book and says it is a door somewhere. Sam rambles about sacrifice, slaves, rituals, and spirits who want to torment humans. She looks at his infected wound, thinking the infection causes him to hallucinate about things. Sam suddenly reaches out a hand to touch her sexy body. Because of his touch, Annabelle can see what happened to Mr. Hollister, the owner of the plantation. It's revealed that the townspeople dragged Mr. Hollister across the field and asked the priest what he did to his children. They tied him to the cross. He talked about having opened a door and that the spirits are in the world to stay. At that time, Jeffy was gazing up at his granduncle, Mr. Hollister, tied to the cross. The townspeople then left Mr. Hollister to die on the cross. In a flashback, Hollister's wife died of consumption, so he became mad and tried many ways to bring her back from the dead. In the basement, he experimented with black slaves, tortured and killed them afterward. He also hid his children from the townspeople to avoid their revenge. Apparently, the ghostly boy the robber group saw hidden in the well or under the bed earlier is Mr. Hollister's child, and the creatures lurking around the plantation now are the byproducts of his experiments. Scared, Annabelle then wakes up from her trance. After a futile search for Clyde and Joseph, William comes back. He sees his wife crying and his brother Sam dead as shit. Annabelle says that their coming to the farm is a trap laid out by Jeffy, possibly because of their conflict among the robbery group. Todd joins the conversation and talks about the slaves being experimented on in the basement. Todd suggests they leave the place, but William insists they find the gold. Both pull out their guns. Annabelle holds a knife to Todd's neck, so the latter will put his gun down. After a while, they agree to a truce, but will continue to look for Clyde and Joseph. Todd suddenly hears voices. He panics and goes to the barn, closely followed by William and his wife. They see that all of their Ferrari horses are torn apart into pieces. Todd is almost out of his mind when he hears voices again and sees things that the others cannot. 
William and his wife go inside the house to find Sam's body missing. Once again, they go outside to search for Sam and everyone. Outside, Todd still hears strange noises. He rambles about the place, almost out of his mind. Suddenly, a possessed Sam attacks Todd and throws him in midair, making him disappear. The couple reach the center of the field and sees Clyde tied to a cross. William brings him down and they are shocked to see Clyde's eyes and big mouth sewn shut. Clyde suddenly screams at them, so Annabelle kicks his head and causes it to separate from his body. Annabelle runs her hysterical body away as a scared William runs after her. They can't see each other clearly because of the heavy rain. There is a sudden movement, so William shoots at it, not knowing it is his wife. He accidentally shoots Annabelle, killing her instantly. The following day, William is still in the middle of the field, shocked and confused. He starts to walk away, but their messy dog attacks him and chases after him. William runs away, not knowing that he has transformed into a hideous creature now, which is why the dog attacked him. He arrives near the end of the road. Confederate soldiers see him and then shoot him, mistaking him for a deformed animal. Two soldiers see gold coins beside William, so they plan to investigate the mansion and look for more gold. They have no plans of telling their fellow soldiers what they just saw. They are sure there is more gold inside the house and have no plans to share it with everyone. The story ends with the soldiers going toward the abandoned mansion. As they walk through the fields, they find the corpse of another dead creature, presumably Annabelle, telling that misery still prevails. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.